It's often said the most painful experience a human being can endure is childbirth, but that's so disgustingly wrong. The most painful experience humans can endure is school board meetings. The amount of absolute lunacy there is off the charts. Listening to the crazy people at school board meetings is like sticking your head into a wood chipper, except the wood chipper's at least a lot faster at killing you. Listening to these people is a slow, agonizing death. It's never been about your health. It's never been about your health. It's about control and compliance. And let me tell you something, go home tonight and take one of these spoons and put it on your vaccination spot. Guess what? It's gonna stick to you. Well, if you say so, I'll try this little Bill Nye experiment. Son of a bitch, come on. God, I wish it would stick to me. I'd love to be like Magneto, but unfortunately, this is a false prophet. She's shitting and spitting lies. This magnetism conspiracy has been popping off recently, and I think it's a really entertaining one. I can't even be mad about it. People genuinely think getting a vaccine is going to turn you into some kind of metal-bending monster from the Avatar universe or something. It's so fucking goofy. Like, this is magic tricks that you do for children at a birthday party. Like, where you put a toothpick on your thumb and tape it down, so that way when you put your thumb back, it looks like it disappeared, and you convince them it's gone forever, and you blow their mind. Like, this is how you- this is, like, the same shit you do there, like, Son, come here, I have something to show you, and keep this a secret. I'm a superhero, look. I'm Magnet Man. Spoons stick to me. These people actually have the brains of children. It's so fucking wild. And for some reason, almost all of them are parents. Usually when you think of someone stupid, you picture like the stereotypical eating glue, doing something reckless like playing chicken with a train. But now, over the last year or so, when I think of something stupid and someone really fucking dumb, I picture a parent. Like, someone that looks like this lady. This lady is dressed like she's trying to disguise herself as an alligator. Like she's trying to go undercover in a zoo exhibit to infiltrate the alligators. Get in the corner, get in the, some silence and some meditation. Hopefully some of you believe in God and pray and check in with yourself or your whoever you answer to and ask, is this something normal? Do you have metal stick to you? Lady, anything can stick to you if you're sweaty and greasy enough, which I'm sure you know all about. I also don't know why she's bringing God into this. He must be so embarrassed when people like this throw his name around. Is this human? No. Guess what else? You take a black light flashlight and, and shine it on your veins and you're now gonna glow in the black light because guess what? You're no longer human. You're 2.0s and we are afraid of you. Everything she's saying sounds fucking awesome. She's a great advertisement for the vaccine. You apparently get to be magnetized and glow in the dark. She calls you a 2.0 so you're an upgraded version of humans. Like, goddamn, if I was anti-vax and I heard her speech, I would be the first one in line to get vaccinated right now. I would be voting for her for class president because these fucking wild promises sound incredible. You shouldn't be afraid of us because you're shedding your spike proteins. And this is the reason why people are in the hospital. It's not the, va it's not the unvaccinated, it's the vaccinated. These people often say that they do tons of research on their own, but I find that very hard to believe because there's no chance this lady can spell vaccination. So there's only one way she's getting this information. Through Facebook, baby. If ever there was a time to get religious, it's now. And pray to God that he will just wipe Facebook off the face of this planet. It's the only chance we have left. It's the vaccinated, and guess what? The truth is coming out, everything is bubbling up, and you guys are, are disposable, and whoever you're puppeting, whoever you're par parroting, they don't care about you. When these imbeciles say things like this, it actually makes me sad because they're convinced that they're not sheep, even though they are the actual sheep in this situation. They just parrot what they see in their Facebook groups verbatim. They all say the exact same things. This is a school board meeting that just happened and it is exactly the same shit that the last one we looked at a few months ago was saying. They're saying these identical things, the same rhetoric, nothing changes. They are literal sheep, but they're convinced that they're the only ones seeing the truth. It's an absolute tragedy, and it's a slippery slope. Once you believe one conspiracy like this, you believe every single one of them, because then it puts the mistrust of everything and everyone in your blood. It's a direct injection of delusion right into your bloodstream. So, while she believes all this magnetism vaccination shit, I am sure she is also going to start believing in Flat Earth as well, because they all stem from the same idea. You can't trust anyone but the Facebook groups that suck on your dick and titties and make you feel good. Make you feel smart. 
You can't trust anyone else. The experts, they're lying to you because they're trying to control you. The reason you're miserable at 40 years old and haven't accomplished anything isn't because it's your fault. It's because the government's been keeping you down and trying to prevent your third eye from opening. But we're going to show you the truth, this and that, and then you believe all of these absolutely asinine, wild, garbage things. And any more or less than you care about the kids, and I invite you to get a conscience because if you're vaccinated, your time is limited anyways, but I ask you to get on your knees and repent and ask for forgiveness because this is not just happening on this field and on this plane. You're going to be paying for this for the rest of eternity, all right? So I would uh, tell you good luck, God bless, see ya. The worst part about this supervillain monologue is the clapping at the end. It's, there's people supporting that. And that's awful. That's what's so fucking sad. It's crazy how many people believe these things. I know a lot of people like to say, oh, no one really believes that. But there's a lot of people just like her that'll hear these absolutely outlandish statements like, the vaccine makes you a magnet. You'll go outside and get hit by a fucking car battery that gets ripped out of a nearby vehicle because you're such a super magnet from the vaccine. And they're like, oh, that sounds reasonable. I don't need any further proof because now you've said it, so I'll believe it. It's just people wanting to believe absolute dumb shit. We live in fan fiction land now. People believe everything based on nothing. They just have this desire to feel smarter than everyone else and unique. And it sucks. It fucking sucks. But it is always fun to have a little laugh at, like, people like her. So, I mean, you know, there's... You take the good with the bad, I suppose. That's about it. See ya.